my darlings. I hope you are all very... Oh, did you hear that? That was my knee creaking. It's because I'm getting old. Um, following on the um, series that I'm doing at the moment of swatching palettes, I've been doing eyeshadow palettes. Um, I've also done the Freedom highlight palette, the, the professional stro palette, sorry. Sorry, my, my mouth suddenly wasn't stuck together. Um, yeah, the highlight palette, so I've just done that. So I will put a link in the box down below so that if you haven't seen that already, you can go and have a look. Um, but I'm doing a series at the moment of swatches um, so that you can see, as a consumer, what these products are like before you actually go out and buy them. Because a lot of the time, if you're buying online, you don't get to see what the item is like. If you're like me and you go into Superdrug and you're looking for something specific and it's not there or it is there and there isn't a swatch for it because some really nice person has either run off with it or it's been dropped and broken or they just haven't got that there. So today's swatch is Makeup Revolution and it's the Ultra Blush Palette all about the cream. So you don't need to know whether what consistency it is because it's in the title all about the cream. So these are cream blushes and these are the blushes that you get in your palette. Very bright, very lovely. So you get your full size mirror like you always do with Makeup Revolution and it's always an amazing mirror. I mean, I use one of these whenever I'm doing my makeup because they're just amazing. They, um, they're they accurate as well. So then, because sometimes you can get mirror and they're slightly distorted or there is a slight shadow in. These don't, these are just pure, perfect. They're bright, brilliant. So these don't have any names to them. These are just, a palette with some blushes in. Now as you can see they are a very very glossy consistency. They are, um, there are a beautiful cream. Now some people don't like using cream blushes because they find it difficult to blend in. Um, one of the tips that I would give personally is if you're going to use a cream blusher don't put loads and loads and loads on. Put the tiniest amount on your brush and then put on your cheek and then blend it in with your brush because you can always add more but it's more difficult to take it away and these colours are so pigmented that you're going to end up looking like a clown if you don't do it right. If you go in for that look, fine, fair enough, you do whatever you want to do but if you don't want to be too out there you need the tiniest amount. You'll see what I mean. Okay, I'm going to swatch this top pro first, which for the benefit of the camera is top pro, but it's actually the bottom row in the palette. So I'm going to do these ones across here first. So you've got a beautiful, the very, very sort of like terracotta colour. Then there's a pink. <laughs> then there's a really bright baby pink. And then there's another sort of rosy colour. They are the swatches on my fingers. As you can see, they are very strong, very pigmented, a massive payoff using these colours. I'm going to swatch. Look how pigmented these are. These are crazy. I can still see part of my highlight palette from the last video. Now, that to me, they look like lipsticks rather than blushes. You can see what I mean now by me saying, be careful on how much you put on your skin because you literally need the tiniest amount to get the look that you really, really need. Let's get this, this off. So, yeah. But aren't they lovely colours? They are really pretty, lovely and ideal for summer. Especially these pink ones here. Okay, 
So, the next video, next ones I'm going to do are obviously the bottom of the palette, or for the purposes of the palette, the top. Or why do I always confuse myself? Um, right. Oh no, I've got a fly is dipped in it. That's not good. The fly was obviously very, very impressed with the pigment that they wanted to be involved as well. So make sure I've got clean fingies. <laughs> Is that not what I'm talking to Sophia? I've got clean fingies. I do talk the biggest load of rubbish over. Right. Okay. So there's um an array of different colours on the top row. Again, there are your colours. These are a little bit darker, as you can see. Oh, what happened there? Let's just do that one again. That's because I've got a little finger and I didn't actually dip in properly. Now I've got a V shape on my, my arm. I don't, honestly, I reckon I'm going to get more thumbs down for this video than I am thumbs up. But look at those colours. They are beautiful. Now they're now starting to dry, so they're going like a matte, matte effect. So they don't look glossy on your skin at all. As for blending, they do blend very well. I always do this so that you can see how they're blending in. They blend in really easily. Obviously these have been on my arm now and are drying up a little bit. But they do blend. But as I say, don't put too much on. Because you can end up basically looking like that on your face. So yeah, that is basically the swatches of that palette. Um, I, I will be honest, I don't particularly wear that palette much at all. It's not one of the ones that I really reach for. But then that's because I'm I'm not particularly a fan of cream or liquid blushes. I prefer powders. I prefer baked, if I'm honest. The more it's baked, better. So the triple baked blushing hearts are um, amazing. So I don't tend to lean towards the creams at all but there you go now you've seen what these like these are like and this palette I believe is six pounds as well not bad really not for eight colors that are going to last you a long long time so there you go thank you very much for watching and um, we hope to see you again soon in the next video give us a thumbs up talk to you soon bye bye